welcome to American Honey and this episode of Honey Bear's Kitchen. Together, we will learn to cook. Welcome back to Honey Bear's Kitchen. I'm Honey Bear and I'd like to wish you the very happiest of Thanksgivings. I know I have so much to be thankful for, not the least of which are my 71 subscribers. After just a month, that blows me away. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the support. You guys rock. I'm not going to be cooking a whole Thanksgiving spread today. When we celebrate Thanksgiving, we go to my brother's house, he does the turkey and he does a fine job. He roasts it and then to finish it off, he quarters it and fries it in a big cast iron skillet in duck fat. And it's awesome. If I ever try to do a whole turkey, it's always gonna be second fiddle to that. So I will leave that to him. Today, I did want to make something that is hearthy. I don't know if that's a real word, but that's what I'm going for. I also want to return to the mantra that most people need simple most of the time. And I bet you, even on Thanksgiving, there's people out there that like to keep it simple. So this is for you. Do you know those real sentimental recipes that get passed down from generation to generation? Your grandmother gives it to your mother and then it gets passed into your family. Well, this isn't one of those recipes. I got this one from Pinterest. Today, we're making chicken pot pie, the hearthy edition. As always, you can find the recipe in the description of the video, but this time it's so simple, you might not even have to go there. Six to eight cups of cooked chicken. I like the pre-grilled kind you can find in a bag in the frozen department of the grocery store. 16 ounces frozen mixed vegetables, two cans of cream of chicken soup, half cup of evaporated milk, one of these tubes of crescent rolls, and two teaspoons of ranch seasoning. It's so simple to put together. Let me show you how it's done. Even though that grilled chicken that comes in a bag is fully cooked, I'm throwing some olive oil in a skillet and warming it up. That way I can chop it up into smaller pieces and my kids aren't coming out of their pot pie with a chicken tender sized morsel. Also, that means that we're not just putting frozen things in the oven. It will cook a lot better that way. So the chicken's been heated up. I'm mixing the wet ingredients together. Two cans of cream of chicken soup, a half cup of evaporated milk. You wanna whisk that together. Cream of chicken soup can kind of be a little bit gelatinous at first, but if you whisk it, it'll get creamy. Two teaspoons of ranch seasoning. Make sure it gets stirred up evenly. Mix in your vegetables. Maybe we have to start using a spoon. Whisk is a little bit too cumbersome. That's better. Then we just keep dumping. In goes the chicken. forgot to mention before, I've preheated the oven to 375. It's good to do that early on because it takes a little while. As you can see, I'm just spreading out this chicken vegetable mixture into my 9 by 13 pan. Just do it evenly. It's not a science to it. Look at all of those beautiful vegetables. Like most of you, I am often pushed for time. And any time that I don't have to make a vegetable in addition to the main dish, that is a good day. So this is a wonderful recipe for that. One of the final steps is to pop open a tube of crescent rolls. We're going to unroll this and hopefully it is just enough to stretch over the top. Look at that. A tube of crescent rolls stretches perfectly to cover a 9 by 13 pan. I'm going to take a little crushed rosemary and sprinkle it on the top because rosemary chicken is the best. All right. So we need to cook this until it's golden brown on top and everything's bubbly and warm. I'm going to start out at 25 minutes and then we'll go from there. If it looks like it needs a little more time, we'll just add some more. 
The timer went off at 25 minutes. I decided to give it five more minutes because it wasn't totally golden brown. Now at a total of 30 minutes, it's bubbling. You can hear it and it's golden brown on top. Let's get it out of the oven. That's what we're talking about. Look at it bubble, golden brown on top. Oh, it smells like rosemary. That's awesome. It certainly smells like we were successful. I'm not waiting for dinner tonight. Let's plate it. If you've been enjoying these episodes even half as much as I'm going to enjoy this Popeye right now, smash that like button. Make this for your family. Comment below how they like it. Let me know how it turned out. I'm going to take a bite. See you next time.